Today in Bible, students can review their lessons. I've attached a Bible study guide that students can review on today in preparation for the test on tomorrow. And please make sure that you also review their memory scripture as well. Today in writing, students will complete their test and they have a narration exercise that they will complete in their book so they can take the test before the lesson or after. So I will continue reading the story from Monday about the Moomin Trolls. And so in the story today, Moomin Troll has decided to leave the house. Remember, he woke up at a time when no one would wake up. He was up. So he decides to leave the house and explore the countryside in the winter. He has never seen winter before. All the doors and windows are frozen shut, so he goes up to the roof and finds a hatch or a trap door um, that the chimney sweep uses to clean the chimney. So I'll go ahead and begin reading. Moomin Troll rushed up to the attic, managed to lift the chimney sweep's hatch, and clambered out onto the roof. A wave of cold air received him. He lost his breath, slipped, and rolled over the edge. And so Moomin Troll was helplessly thrown out into a strange and dangerous world and dropped up to his ears in the first snowdrift of his experience. It felt unpleasantly prickly to his velvet skin, but at the same time his nose caught a new smell. It was a more serious smell than any he had met before and slightly frightening, but it made him wide awake and greatly interested. The valley was enveloped in a kind of gray twilight. It also wasn't green any longer. It was white. Everything that had once moved had become immobile. There was no living sounds. Everything angular was now around it. This is snow, Moomin Troll whispered to himself. I've heard about it from Mother, and it's called snow. Without Moomin Troll knowing a thing about it, at that moment his velvet skin decided to start growing woollier. It decided to become by and by a coat of fur for winter use. That would take some time, but at least the decision was made, and that's always a good thing. Meanwhile, Moomin Troll was laboriously plodding along through the snow. He went down to the river. It was the same river that used to scuttle transparent and jolly through Moomin Troll's summer garden. Now it looked quite unlike itself. It was black and listless. It also belonged to this new world in which he didn't feel at home. So questions from today's reading. How did Moomin Troll get out of the house? Answer is he climbed out onto the roof through a hatch or a trap door. Next question, what did Moomin Troll fall into? Answer is he fell into a snowdrift. Next question, what color was the valley? Answer is the valley had turned white. What did Moomin Troll see for the first time? Answer is snow. What did Moomin Troll's velvet skin start to become? Answer is started to become a coat of fur. Next question, where did Moomin Troll go next? Answer is he went down to the river. Last question, what color was the river? The river was black. So in about three sentences after students answer the questions, they can tell me what happened. I'm sorry, tell you what happened in the story. Just please make sure that they are starting with capital letters, ending with periods, and that they are writing complete sentences. Today, students have a reading test that I have attached in the email I sent on this morning. You can review the stories before you complete the test. Today in phonics, students can review chart 13 and then they can, can complete workbook pages 259 and 260 in their book on today. Today in language, students will have their first test on prepositions that is also attached in the email I sent on this morning.